Jeb Bush or John Elias Bush, which is his real name. Why is he the second front runner in the Republican race? Why is he getting such favorable attention from the mainstream media? Was it because he was born from a very powerful elite bloodline nefarious uterus? If you look at Jeb Bush, obviously he's known. I got to take a seat because this stuff gets deep. Jeb Bush is known for being the governor of Florida. But if you look at his business dealings in the 70s, 80s and 90s, it pretty much points to nefarious CIA drug money and weapons laundering to death squads and importing drugs into the US and a lot of illegal nefarious activities. He was a banker in Venezuela and had a Miami based real estate business <coughs> slash money, money laundering operation uh, down in Miami, Florida. You look at the people he knew and he was connected with business wise, it's people like Al Martin, Oliver North, Richard Seckard, Dewey Collier, Sam Watson, Fred Icke, and of course, his father, who was the director of the Central Intelligence Agency. He was actually briefed by the CIA in this official declassified document of June 7th, 1977, sending his thanks for the briefing that he got from the CIA. And if you look at his relationship with Alberto Doque, he was a Colombian national who laundered drug money for the cartels and Nicaraguan Contras. And he also served as the City National Bank of Miami and the president of the General Coffee Company of Colombia. Now, apparently, it wasn't just coffee arriving from Colombia into Miami. And Duque actually financed a $30 million real estate development project, obviously run by the one and only Jeb Bush. It gets even further and more crazy than that. Jeb Bush was also appointed on the board of the National Republic Institute, the GOP branch of the National Endowment for Democracy, which is pretty much a CIA front that money laundered operations saw. Just huge investment in Nicaraguan Contras, Cuban exiles, Salvadorians, Guatemalan, and Honduran death squads. Now, of course, Jeb acted as a liaison for Dr. Mario Castellon. He was a right-wing candidate for president of Guatemala and Vice President Bush. Castellon sought funding from a secret shipment of arms to the Contras and other right-wing rebel groups in Central America. And Jeb Bush was the main liaison between those illicit connections. He also ran the Texas Commerce Bank, which was also used by the Zappa companies, which all connects him to all the Iran-Contra conspiracy scandals that have been happening with the CIA funneling drugs and money and weapons through South America into the United States, financing debt squads and doing a lot of activities, and it gets so much deeper. But yet again, Jeb Bush, for some reason, when he's on the presidential debate you know, front running, he's never asked about any of these connections, any of this money, any of this businesses connected with illegal, illicit drug trade and, illegal, and, and CIA covert funding of warlords. Why? Well, obviously, he's a Bush. And if you look here, he has a very nice picture with Prescott Bush, his grandfather, who was officially indicted for supporting no one other than the rise of Hitler and the Nazis. Yes, officially indicted. Just look it up. It gets even crazier. Now, when you look at him in high school and college, there's one particular trend from people who are friends with him. One particular account says that he actually regrets even having a relationship with him because he participated with bullying other students. And this account is varied by many different people who grew up with him in high school and college, making people call him a psychopath because he enjoyed inflicting pain on others. And of course, it would take a psychopath to join a group called the Project for a New American Century, a very little known think tank that is pretty much filled with right wing neoconservative bloodthirsty warmongers that actually called for the bombing and destruction of the Middle East way before 2000. Jeb Bush was a founding member in 1997, and the Project for a New American Century actually called for a galvanizing new Pearl Harbor right before 9-11 in order to justify going into the Middle East, getting rid of Saddam, and overthrowing governments there for just U.S. hegemony all over the world. Yes, Jeb Bush was a part of that organization, and even though many people are talking about his Iraq comments, He's obviously lying about it since they actually had the blueprints for this in 2000. And if that wasn't scary enough, Jeb Bush was also a part of the Project for a New American Century call for bioweapons that could target specific genotypes that could be used for particular political purposes as a useful tool. Yes, he actually called for, for biological weapons to go after specific genes and a specific race of people to totally eliminate them and kill them. That's Jeb Bush.
a psychopath. And of course, only a psychopath would support torturing people. Jeb Bush actually said that torture techniques are very effective. And if you look at any just common sense and knowledge from all the experts that have ever spoken about this target, when you do torture somebody, people just say anything so the torture and pain stops. It's not effective in any way, shape, or form unless you're a psychopath. Of course, if you're an egomaniacal, power-hungry psychopath, you're going to get a lot of money from same kind of people like Goldman Sachs, the same people who are supporting Hillary Clinton. And if you look at the backers of Jeb Bush, it's mostly multimillionaires. There's a reason Donald Trump called him a puppet because he understands how the political game works. And if you give someone money, they owe you favors in return for that. And Jeb Bush by far has over 23 people giving him over a million dollars each. What is this supposed moderate gonna do when all these mega millionaires are giving him money? Obviously, he's gonna figure out a way to give it back to him, like he did when he was governor of Florida, when he took pension funds and pretty much laundered them through the Carlisle Group, which is another Bush CIA front group, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, UBS, Prudential Financial, and pretty much financed fundraisers for his brother with the pension funds of Floridians, which he was governor of. And obviously he is the establishment candidate because he has the establishment psychopath mega corporate money. And if you look at his political stances, they're no different than Hillary Clinton. They both have blatant corrupt corporate ties. They both are major war hawks. They both support the Patriot Act and NSA mass spying. They both support fracking. They both support the drug war. They both aggressively support big banks and bailing them out. They both support Monsanto and GMO. They both will spend billions on the upcoming elections. And of course, they both support the death penalty because that's what a psychopath does. So when I got a chance to actually speak to Jeb Bush, I really wanted to know his thoughts on the deposition matrix or Obama kill list that he has used to kill American citizens. And this is what he had to say. Would you handle the disposition matrix that has assassinated three American citizens already as president? What would you do with the disposition matrix? I don't know what that is. You, the kill list. You don't know what that is? Blatantly, he said he doesn't even know what that is. So obviously he's playing coy, he's playing the moderate who's supposed to be economically savvy with all of his business. But in reality, he's just the CIA drug cartel, money, drug, arms, dealing, evil, maniacal, corporate sellout psychopath. So if you want to vote for him, you're fucking crazy. And just after investigating Jeb Bush for one day, why would anyone support an evil, maniacal, corporate neocon war hawk who's an empty suit and really deep down a psychopath that really just wants to inflict pain on everybody else in exchange for the people who got him in power? How, wh why? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We're going to have all the sources to this video in the description below. And of course, check out our playlist where we go through almost virtually every candidate and why they're fucked up. It's a very serious question, um, Mr. Anderson. Do you have any comment on your knowledge of Operation Mockingbird? I'm sorry. So Anderson, what influence do you think the CIA has when it comes to mainstream media? Dude, you're being just ridiculous. That we as a people are not afraid and we are waking up to the robber barons and the big banks who are looting right. this economy with the Federal Reserve. Well, 